tonight I worked my way through a Criterion set um, that's on Criterion Channel that's called Science is Fiction, 23 films by Jean Panle Pan so bad at laughing. Jean Panlevé. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, and they're these sort of surreal science films that go from the um, silent era all the way to the early 80s. And most of them take place underwater, having to do with um, animals that live underwater. Now, I cannot compare them to Jacques Cousteau films because I have not seen, believe it or not, any Jacques Cousteau films, so I don't know how they compare. Um, I do know that he was friends with Jean Vigo, who did some beautiful underwater work in both La Adelant and Taurus. Um, they were hanging out making films together in the late 20s, early 30s, before Jean Vigo died. Um, several of his films were actually co-directed by his later wife. Um, what was her name? Hold on, I had it. I had it up, and then it's gone. I hate it when that happens. Um, Genevieve Hamon. So he made, you can, what's interesting about this set, what I really liked about it was it showed various, um, aspects of his career and how it changed as film eras changed. So in the 20s, he has these silent films that are very much shot in the vein of silent cinema, and they're and they're sort of surreal and almost Dali esque, you know. And then he's got these 30s films that start to be a little more um, like musicals almost. And then you get into the 40s and the post-war, and they turn into these like jazz dance epics. And then um, you get into like the 50s and they start being about like math and, and you got some Technicolor coming in. Um, and he also did some stop motion animation that was mind blowing. And then you get to the 60s and they're just weird um, kaleidoscopic and they have like experimental synth scores. And there's one called The Love of the Octopus that is, uh, The Love Life of the Octopus that is exactly what it sounds like. It is. It is octopi having sex, and it's set to this, like, experimental synth-like thing with, like, vocals, and definitely is, like, he, he was basically making this movie so that you could smoke pot and, like, watch it is what it felt like. Um, his most famous film, I think, is um, called Hor uh, sea Seahorse. The Seahorse? It's from, where did it go? I have these things open and then they go away. Um, there we go. The Seahorse is from 1934. It's probably his most famous film. It's actually featured in a couple of films, including Kyrene Adler's um, Under the Skin, which is a really great Samantha Morton film. Check that one out. Um, that's probably his most famous film. It's about the seahorse, obviously. But he had these, like, various films about math, and he had this one film called The Struggle for Survival, which was all about overpopulation, which, like, it's from 1937, but you're like, oh, shit. Um, and was it that one? It's also, I think it was that one. Oh, yeah, there was one called The Vampire that tracks the origins of vampire myths through um, various vampir vampiric mammals, but it's also slightly a veiled uh, criticism of the war. It's really fascinating how he takes all of these things and mixes them together. So the ones that I watched were called, um, oh, I'm pink. Oh, my God. This is horrible. That's the wrong page. There we go. Now I'm not pink. <laughs> I'm being trippy, just like just like Sean. Um, Hyas and Stironacus Marine Crustaceans. Uh, sea Urchins, 1929. There's two Sea Urchins movies. Stickleback Eggs. The Octopus. Daphinia, um, experimental treatment of a hemorrhage in a dog. That's exactly what it sounds like. The Seahorse, The Fourth Dimension, Bluebeard. That's a stop motion. It's beautiful. Um, the Struggle for Survival, Similarities Between Length and Speed, Voyage to the Sky, The Vampire, uh, Freshwater Assassins. Freshwater Assassins is about the food chain inside a pond, and it's terrifying and amazing. Um, sea Urchins. 1958, The Color Sequel, also co-directed with his wife, um, how, how Some Jellyfish Are Born, 
sea ballerinas. Sea ballerinas is about starfish and the way that they dance in order to move. It's amazing. I bet Pina Bausch loved it. Shrimp Stories is about shrimp and the people who go shrimping. And it's exactly what you would expect it to be. It's amazing. Um, the Love Life of an Octopus, I already covered that one. Maybe my favorite of all the films in the set. It was weird and amazing. And I love octopi. They are very smart animals and we should not be eating them. We shouldn't be eating most animals, to be honest. But you really, really, really shouldn't be eating octopi. Like, read about them. They are full of empathy and they remember things and they are just highly intelligent beings. We should not be eating them. Um, Diatoms is, starts out as a musical with a woman singing about these creatures that she's seeing and she's like, why do, this is so microscopic, but it looks like a, um, what did she say, like a, a train or something like that. And the guy's like, no, it's a diatom. And then like she asks questions and the guy explains and it's all about how diatoms are everywhere and it's, it's intense. Um, Essera or the Witch's Dance is another sort of micro um, organism film. A lot of these ones where even the underwater ones to some extent um, zoom in in such a way that these tiny little things in the world around us turn into these big giant uh, patterns and, and, and designs and it's, it's glorious um, because they're so small but they can be so big because their whole world is is they're not small to themselves, you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're big in their own world, much like all of us. Um, liquid crystals, again, just as it sounds, it's uh, the crystallization of various uh, liquids when they are treated at various temperatures. And the last one, very delightful half hour, Pigeons in the Square, 1982. It's a man, some pigeons, a bunch of children talking about pigeons, trying to imitate pigeons, diagramming how pigeons behave as someone who once had an entire photo album full of her pigeons um hope those pigeons are doing well I used to have a fire escape in San Francisco filled with pigeons and they were the same pigeons like you know that you know your pigeons when they come back um you can tell when they're your pigeons and uh, I had many a pigeon I did not name the pigeons although I probably should have but I love pigeons and this was a great like um ode to the pigeons of Paris Parks um, say that five times fast. So this is delightful and fun and it's surreal and dreamlike, but science, but, but it's science done in a, in a, just an artistically beautiful way and science meets dance meets nature. It's so many things all in one and I don't even understand how it's so amazing. And if you go and Google on the internet, you can find all kinds of really great behind the scenes photographs of how um, he made these films. There is a documentary, um, also on Filmstruck. I didn't have time to watch it because it was like two hours long about him, but I'm gonna like probably watch that too. I have I keep taking things off my queue and adding things back on, and I'm just trying to watch stuff. And then I got sucked into these these nature shorts, and next thing you know, that's all I watched today. So whatever, I'll just you know when D Day comes, there'll be films that I didn't watch, and um, I'm sure the journey is worth. Everything else. Speaking of which, there was this great, did I tweet it? Where did I put it? Yes, I did tweet it. There's this great quote. This is unrelated, but I want to read you this quote because you've, you've come with me so far, and so I feel like you deserve this quote. Um, it's from one of my favorite books. It is, um, where is it? So many things that I tweet today, Jesus. Um, it's from The Razor's Edge by W.W. W. Somerset Mon, and it's one of my favorite things. And it's how I feel about this whole situation and my attempt to watch all the films um, and my sadness at the at, as Filmstruck leaves us. Um, Nothing in this world is permanent, and we're foolish when we ask anything to last. But surely we're still more foolish not to take delight in it while we have it. Take the light in it while you have it. Watch the movies and enjoy. Have a good night.